LinkedIn is a social networking site for businesses and business professionals and it's a great way of making contacts and keeping in touch with people in your industry in different parts of the country and indeed in different parts of the world and I'm going to show you how to set up and optimize a LinkedIn account in this video okay if you're not already a member of LinkedIn the first thing to do is to join so you need to enter your first name last name email address and a password here so we'll just go ahead and do that now and when that's done click on the green join now button it takes you through to this page where you can start to put together your professional profile so you need to say whether you're currently employed whether you're a business owner looking for work working independently or whether you are a student I'm going to say that I am employed and then your country it'll detect your country from your IP address but if you're logging in from a different country to where you usually live then you will want to change that from the drop down menu here it wants your postal code or your zip code and you enter that in here your company and your job title so we'll just do that there we go that's all done there's also a pop-up box here for you to choose your industry and this is very important because this allows other people who are in the same type of business as you to uh, find you when they look for you on LinkedIn okay when that's all done click here on create my profile it says searching your email contacts is the easiest way to find people you already know on LinkedIn so you then need to put in your email and email password and then click on continue or you can skip the step if you wish and there we go it's found one person that I know on LinkedIn so I can go ahead and add the connection so click on the button there and then it gives me the opportunity to invite people who are in my address book who are not currently members of LinkedIn to join it will send them an email I'm actually going to skip this step so I'll click on this link here skip this step and there we go now I get the opportunity to either share this on Facebook or share it on Twitter I'm actually going to skip this step as well and then it says here my account is set up and I can choose my plan level you can have a basic free account which just allows you to create a professional profile and build your network join industry or alumni groups and search and apply for jobs you can also to a certain extent see who's viewed your LinkedIn profile and also see the professional profiles of over 135 million people but they're slightly limited all the other stuff here you have to subscribe to the premium level and you can see here there are plans starting from $24.95 you can always start with the free version and then upgrade to the uh, paid for version later I'm actually going to just simply stick with the basic one and click here on choose basic and there we go that is done and it's prompting me to log in again and see who else I know from my my gmail inbook I'm actually going to skip all this and now I'm gonna go ahead and start building my profile so what we can do here is click here on edit profile to start to build this up you'll notice it says here that my profile completeness is 30 percent once you have your profile up at 100 percent complete 
it opens the doors to all sorts of people being able to find you on LinkedIn. So obviously the more information you can put on here, uh, the easier it is for other people to find you and for you to network with other people online. So let's start to build the profile. First thing you want to do is to add your photo and this should be a professional looking photo. You don't want to have, you know, a snap that was taken at the Christmas party or anything like that. You want to have a nice looking photo. So let's just upload a photo here. I'm going to click on add photo. And then I can upload it from my computer. So click here on browse. And this is the photo I'm going to upload, Sam01 dot jpg so click on open and then click on upload photo and there we are it's uploading the photo it's slightly too big for the website so I'll need to crop it and you can see what it'll look like up in this window here and you can move the area around with the mouse so let's have that that looks okay and click on save photo And there we go, my picture has been saved. And then I can decide who I want to have this photo available to or visible to. You can have just your connections, your network, or to everyone. I'm going to let everybody see my photo. So click here on Save Settings. And there we go, that's now done. So now I need to add my details about my current position. It says here transcriber at RJS Medical Services. So we want to add some more details about that. So we can click here on edit. I want to say that I currently work there and we'll say when I started. Let's say I started in September 2008. and I can add the location if I wish so I can say let's say it's in Glasgow there you go and if the company has a website I can enter that information in there along with the industry and then click here on update I can add a description if I wish as well I haven't done that if you do add a description you want to make sure there are plenty of relevant keywords in there. You can add a past position then you want to add your education click here to add a school so for example you can put your uh, school name you want to put your high school or secondary school as well as your college or university so let's just uh, enter my information in now. I see I'm just putting in the basics for this demonstration. If you're involved in things like any activities or societies, like say you're in the debating society or something like that, you will put that in and any additional notes that you want. And there are some examples that you can look at if you're not certain what to put in. So we can click here to save the changes. There we go. You can see now it's showing that my profile is 50% complete. And then I can also add another education as well. Um, I can add connections to people that I know who are already on LinkedIn. If I click here you'll see what I mean. Again it goes through my email and puts in people who are in my address book into here and can import them straight away or what I can do is enter email addresses in here and send out invitations to people to uh, join me on LinkedIn. Let's just go back again. I can also 
add a website if I click here I can enter my website and you want to do this because the information that you have on LinkedIn is very limited fairly limited to just being what's entered in the boxes you can't go into a lot of detail but what you can do is you can put in your website URL so it can be to your personal website or it can be to your blog and then you can simply go ahead and direct people to your website and they can get a lot more information about you so let's see let's put one here let's put it to my blog you can also enter things like interests uh, if you're a member of any groups or associations you can put those in here it's best to limit these to groups and associations that are to do with your work for example if you're a member of a classic car club but it's nothing to do with your work then you probably wouldn't want to enter that in here but if you are a member of um, a professional body or something like that then you would want to enter that information in here and if you've won any honors or awards then you want to enter that into this box here and then again click on save changes and what you can then do is add your Twitter account if you have a Twitter account and then you've got your public profile link URL here and what you can do is use this to direct people to your public profile on LinkedIn and help spread the word about you being on LinkedIn now obviously there are a few other things I need to add into here before I can get my profile up any higher it's still at 50 percent so I could import my resume and I could upload that as either a PDF or Microsoft Word document Let's cancel that and then once you've got your profile up to about 70 percent what you can then do is ask for recommendations and then you can decide what you want to be recommended for and decide who you're going to ask and these are connections people who you know who are on LinkedIn and then you can create your message which is can you endorse me and you want to send out a message here um, you can either use the standard one or you can write it yourself and this just builds your credibility on LinkedIn and obviously the more people who you can get to recommend you uh, the more people you can get to endorse you then uh, the higher your standing is going to be in the community and then you can start to join some groups it's best to click here on groups you may like because they're going to give you some information about all the different groups that there are that you might be interested in and as you can see they are fairly specific to the type of work that you do and the type of niche that you're in uh, if you're looking for a job you can start looking for a job here uh, you can look at the various companies you can follow various companies on LinkedIn um, just to see what they're doing and you can say be in the loop of various developments that they're doing just to sort of keep your finger on the pulse of what's going on in your industry so there you go that's how you can set up a LinkedIn account optimize and use it